Hey there, and welcome to the now third video of the gill making series I am doing. Definitely not the second one that's now the third. As a reminder, these videos in the series are all going to be under the gill making playlist on my channel, and as I make more content, I'll continuously add to that playlist. So today's video is all about retainers, and no I'm not meaning the ones that you put in your mouth. Retainers are probably the number one most underestimated and underutilized tools that are given to all players. And yes, retainers have a lot more to them than just being where you hoard all of that junk that you keep telling yourself might someday actually be useless for some random purpose or another. If you look at how honestly overstuffed my retainers are, I am absolutely in need of an intervention myself. If this video helps you at all and you want to help support me and my channel, I'd greatly, incredibly appreciate if you launch the like button into outer space where it flies off into the great beyond and cat daddy that subscribe button. But for real, retainers are one of the best methods for passive gill making and tools that I personally use extensively whenever possible. The amount of gill that you have fallen to your lap for virtually no effort is disgusting and over the span of a week adds up very quickly. So let's talk about the gill first. As a criminally underrated source of gill, what do I personally get from them in one day? So first thing is that you're gonna notice the timings are off as you re watch the footage, and you're already probably a little bit familiar with retainers and you're like, why are these numbers different? I'm gonna get to that later on in the video, but let's focus purely on the numbers right now. From the footage, you can see I have nine retainers. Additional retainers can be hired off of the MOG station up to a maximum of 9 retainers. All players start off with a baseline of 2 for free, well with your subscription fee I suppose, but I have a hoarding problem and I really like passive gill so I have chosen the path of 9. Wah, wah, wah. But adding everything up to a spreadsheet we can see very quickly that I have gotten the following. 6 sweet meal muscles that approximately sell for 1.6k gill apiece, totaling up to 9.6k gill. 6 mana silver sand, selling for 200 apiece, pretty low honestly, adds up though to 1.2k gill. 6 peppermint, selling at a modest 400 gill, adding up to 2.4k gill. 7 simulodon skills, skills, skins, selling for a decent 800 gill apiece for 5.6k gill total. And 4 zoner skins, selling for a fine 500 gill apiece for 2k gill. And lastly, 3 cubis flesh, selling for 400 gill apiece for a total of 1.2k gill. But on top of these, we are also getting an absolute dump truck of Allegan Silver pieces, which sell for a default of 500 gil a piece. Specifically, my retainers, as you saw in the footage, in one day, brought me back 46 silver pieces. So if we take these silver pieces and we assume that we're going to sell them directly to a shop for 500 gil, don't put these on the market board. I am always shocked why people put these on the market board. You're getting less gil if you do that. Sell them to a shop. But if you sell it to a shop, for 500 gil apiece, that adds up to 23k gil total. But that is also deceptive because with Allegan Silver Pieces, once a week that resets every Tuesday, you should always head to the NPC Kozakura, sorry I totally butchered that, but she is in the Doman Enclave, and if you donate 40 of these pieces to her, if you, for the record, don't have exactly 40, I would split them off the stack. You only want to submit 40. But these 40 pieces that you submit to donation to Kozakura, you're going to get 1k per. So essentially you have doubled the value of those 40 pieces. Meaning that the 46 silver pieces that I showed you that I got for today would have totally added up to 43,000 gil. So 40 pieces by 1k, 6 pieces by 0.5k, 43k. So adding up all of the gil that I earned today in the spreadsheet, that adds up to a total of 65k for literally flicking through all 9 retainers in the span of seconds with doing no effort. So now comes the part where things get a little bit more complicated. That's the raw gil if I sold those items today, and that is a decently viable strategy for many items, and... I want to emphasize that one thing to be very aware of is that the prices of almost everything on the market board are currently, as of the time that I'm making this video, in a very slumped state. We are in what is called a valley of the market. The curve of the prices just went horrible, hit the ground. Like, we are in a very slumped state on the market. But that's just when I'm making the video now. We're about a month away from the big patch 5.4 patch, which every big numbered patch makes the markets go crazy high for a long while. 
So what I would suggest is some of these items I might consider holding on to to then put on the market board for patch 5.4 because I think that some of these items will go larger in price but again I'm showing you the gill I'm making as of today if I put them on the market board today but this is honestly a decently weak representation of what I have earned during main market board phases like during main patches so this is something to keep in mind as we go forward and I get a bit more gritty with the techniques so as we go into patch 5.4 keep your eyes very much peeled and focused for some major market board shakeups and various prices to spike like crazy and what you send retainers out for to change potentially dramatically. So the first thing many people probably noticed when I sent out my retainers was that there were two formats that I used with two very distinct timers. I'm going to break those down here because they serve very different purposes. Firstly, let's talk about sending retainers out on what is called an exploration mission, like field exploration mission right now. Not to be confused with quick exploration missions, these exploration missions will not only be realistic to send the retainer out once a day, so say you're not able to log in for like any significant amount of period, once a day you can just log in for like a minute and send retainers out very quickly. But these give you elegant silver pieces as a baseline, which I showed before, really do add up to a lot of gil, as well as some extra loots. If you are a working parent or just caught up with other things going on, like like spending time or something i don't know what's thanksgiving <laughs> i'm just kidding kind of but just spending a minute out of your day to refresh your retainers can go a very long way for continuing your gill profit this method i will say is generally really really solid but this method of sending them out once per day does fall short of the next method because it is very unspecific. This current method is not specific. There's no way to really target and corner a market or hone in on a particular in-demand hyped up phase for an item. So this is really good once a day and it is better in some cases but really unspecific. So when it comes to cornering a market and really riding a trend, there's no technique better than to send out a retainer to a particular niche market. This will require legwork on your part, on your server, to go through these items yourself. And the market prices can and do fluctuate, and sometimes you flood the market which crashes it in and of yourself, so please do be a little wary of that. Retainers can be sent on a very specific mission type like hunting on the screen right now and I can hone in on a specific level range here and you can see a whole selection of items. A part of this method is that it is insanely profitable when done correctly, but if done poorly, I'm going to be honest, it can be a tremendously large failure where you were way, way, way better off just sending it out for daily. So I am going to show you exactly what to do to do this properly. So take a screenshot or make a spreadsheet or whatever you need to in order to keep track of this data is my recommendation. Open up the retainer and check out what ventures they have to see how much of the items you can send them out for goes on the market board on your server. Again, you, you will need to do this legwork. Such as the Hydrozoan Umbrella right now is going really well on the market board right now for about 700 gil per, and we can get a quantity of 10 of them for one hour. So this means each hour we can passively make about 7k gil sending this retainer out. But that's one thing that is really deceptive about this technique is I just went to the highest item level range, right? And that's a decent idea, but not always the best idea. So take Yak Milk for instance on the market board from a level 51 venture. That's selling for significantly more gil and so getting a quantity of nearly 1.2k a piece for 10 means that you are each hour you're sending the retainer out getting about 12k gil. And I did say an hour there meaning that if you're say watching Netflix or doing something where you are near your computer for an extended period of time, you can keep refreshing this and you can keep sending them out over and over again. Although beware different items can have different durations as seen here. Anyhow, that is all for the retainer's gill making method and this is why in the last video I advise you to dump every last piece of gear you can into recycling them for GC seals, Grand Company seals. Retainers are one of the flat out most bonkers way to ways to make gill and you can make a lot of gill very fast. If this video helped you at all and you want to help support me and my channel I would incredibly appreciate if you launch that like button into outer space and cat daddy that subscribe button. Take care and have a fantastically epic day.